Hello Xer Solutionist. Welcome back to my channel. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you Xer Solutionist. Today's video is all about a .NET applications assembly is the smallest unit of deployment. It could be a dynamic link library, DLL, file or an executable. A Z file. There are mostly two types. Private assembly, a DLL or Z that is exclusive to a single program. It's usually kept in the application's root folder. A DLL that may be used by numerous apps at the same time is known as a public shared assembly. GAC, or Global Assembly Cache, is where shared assembly is kept. GAC is basically the C, Windows Assembly folder, which contains all of the public assemblies DLLS for all of the programs installed on your computer. Satellite assembly is the third and least well-known type of assembly. Only static items, such as photographs and other non-executable files, are included in a satellite assembly. Let's open our Visual Studio. This is the interface of our form basic calculator. It has text boxes, combo box, list view, button, and label. This our sampled created private assembly named as calculator private assembly. This is how to create it. Now right click on the solution and add a new project. Now find the class library.net framework, because we are using sharp.net. Click next then create. I already renamed the project name and the class name, so this is my output. The class library name now is basic computation. As you can see the name spaces is different from our form basic calculator that is basic calculator, because we have created a new project. So the name of the class is basic computation. We created a method. Public static access modifier with float return type and named as addition with the two parameter of float data type first num and second num. Then we initialize float data type named as total. Then we will return the value of total as equal to the first num and second num added value. Public static access modifier with float return type and named as subtraction with the two parameter of float data type first num and second num. Then we initialize float data type named as total. Then we will return the value of total as equal to the first num and second num subtracted value. Public static access modifier with float return type and named as multiplication with the two parameter of float data type first num and second num. Then we initialize float data type named as total. Then we will return the value of total as equal to the first num and second num multiplied value. Public static access modifier with float return type and named as division with the two parameter of float data type first num and second num. Then we initialize float data type named as total. Then we will return the value of total as equal to the first num and second num divided value. After coding, we need to build it to have a DLL file. Now we will build it and then find the location of the DLL. So in this case this is my location my project, and the built DLL. After finding the location of our DLL, we will go back to our main form so that we can implement our assembly. So this is our main form now we will implement private assembly. Go to the project then find the reference, right click on it, and add the reference. Let's browse the location of our DLL. Then click the doing add after clicking add click OK so that the DLL will reference on the main project. So this is the name of the DLL or the project itself. Now, we will use our DLL in the main project. Initialize using the name of the reference DLL. In my case using calculator private assembly. We created a form load event for form basic calculator. Inside of is to set the value of the tools. TXTF num text is equal to zero string text. TXTS num text is equals to zero string text. V total item adds the total string text. V total item adds the zero 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 string text. 
we have created a string array list named as operators with the elements of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Then we have created a for each loop, for each string var name and operation. We'll add to the items of combo box CP operators. Then we have created a button on click event for btm compute. We initialize float data type named as fnum is equals to txtfnum text value that is converted to float. We initialize float data type named as num is equals to txtsnum text value that is converted to float. We initialize float data type named as total. Then we have created else if condition. Check if combo box selected item is equals to addition, if it is true then the total item will clear. We call the total is equals to the value of the basic computation and addition method with the parameter of fnum and snum. This means the total will be equals to the value of our assembly method addition value. Then we add an item total string text in v total. Then we add an item total that is converted to string in v total. Check else if combo box selected item is equals to subtraction. If it is true then v total item will clear. We call the total is equals to the value of the basic computation and subtraction method with the parameter of fnum and snum. This means the total will be equals to the value of our assembly method subtraction value. Then we add an item total string text in v total. Then we add an item total that is converted to string in v total. Check else if combo box selected item is equals to multiplication. If it is true then v total item will clear. We call the total is equals to the value of the basic computation and multiplication method with the parameter of fnum and snum. This means the total will be equals to the value of our assembly method multiplication value. Then we add an item total string text in v total. Then we add an item total that is converted to string in v total. Check else if combo box selected item is equals to division if it is true then. V total item will clear. We call the total is equals to the value of the basic computation and division method with the parameter of fnum and snum. This means the total will be equals to the value of our assembly method division value. Then we add an item total string text in v total. Then we add an item total that is converted to string in v total. The l selected item in combo box is not equal to the value list of operators. Show this message in valid input. Then we have created a mouse click event on fnum text box. Inside of it is to clear the value of txt fnum value. Then we have created a mouse click event on snum text box. Inside of it is to clear the value of txt snum value. This is the sample output and flow of the code. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out.